this is Damon Tennant with the Get Your GED Now test preparation series coming to you with a uh, simple uh, math problem because remember although the test is 55% algebra we still do need to remember uh, how to do the uh, simple problems as well so again uh, let us just go ahead and get started here so the question is what percent of the June bird population at Lake Tuonga was made up of the raven okay so we see that we see the chart here there's raven and pigeon population at Lake, Lake Tuonga uh, and so we're gonna come down here and so we're gonna look at June and because that is um, uh, where we uh, have been asked to go in the question here with June and so now we want to say okay there are 48 because purple represents the pigeon and 26 ravens so the very first thing we want to do is go ahead and add up those 48 pigeons and I'm just going to put P there for pigeon and those 26 ravens and put an R there for ravens add those two populations up together you get 74 and then the second part of the question is we want to know what percent was made up of the raven and so when we're looking at a percent problem we know that we have two pieces of the problem and we are looking uh, for the, the the third piece so we know uh, how many ravens there were uh, 26 that's the part uh, we know the total amount of birds that there were that's 74 that's the base remember the the three parts of a percent are part rate in base so we've identified that we have the part the 26 ravens and we have the base the total amount of birds at Lake Tuonga and we know the formula that tells us and I'm gonna write that up here part divided by base will give us the rate and we know rate is another word for percent so I'm just gonna put that here in this case that's what we're looking for is that percent so now all we are going to simply do is just fill in the blank and I'm going to get a different color here for emphasis <clears throat> so we're going to put in 26 for the part and then that's going to go over the base of 74 and 26 divided by 74 equals point three five and some decimal points but we're just going to round it up and then remember to convert a decimal to a percent we're just simply going to take that decimal point and move it over two spaces to the right and add the percent sign and so that's going to give us 35 percent so then we're going to go ahead and write our 35 percent as our answer there. So again, when you're looking at these problems on the GED test, uh, you need to do a little bit of analysis. And really, that's what the test is really shooting for, is really getting you towards the concepts. What do you need to think about? What are the steps? And so that's everything that we do in the Get Your GED Now Test Preparation Series, is we get you prepared so that you can look at these kinds of problems, picture problems, charts problems, text problems, and then convert what you see here to numbers so that you can then perform the mathematical equation. Remember, that is the connection. The, the connection between the visual with the number. And that is really where the rubber meets the road on this thing. If you can do that, you will have GED success. If you're interested, uh, join me at www.mygedlive.com and find out more.